This is the Brandrex Giga Plus Cat 5E Shielded Patch Panel, 24 port, complete with cable management at the rear. Remove the cover plate to expose the termination blocks. We recommend the use of a high impact punch down tool for the insertion of the cable cores into the IDCs. This is the 110 punch down tool with a cutting edge. Alternatively, you can use the LSA head for the punch down tool. This is a rotation cutter for the removal of cable sheaths. These are fine wire cutters for trimming any surplus cable ends. Before commencing the termination process, decide how the cables are to be dressed into the cabinet, either 12 per side or 24 from one side. Use a circular type cutter to strip the cable. Ensure the tool is at a minimum cut setting and trim off approximately 50 millimeters of the outer sheath. It is required to make contact with the inside of the foil. The outside is plasticated. Wrap the foil around the four wire pairs. Remove the Milo wrap and then wind the drain wire around the foil. Separate the wire pairs. Select the appropriate wiring code T568A or T568B. To maintain the integrity of the shield within the cabling system, we need to ground the shields of the cable to these grounding clamps. Starting from right to left, line the cable up with the management bar and the leading edge of the IDC block. Slightly separating the pairs, begin with the white-blue pair. Punch down the individual wires with the correct terminating blade in the impact insertion tool. Ensure that the cutting edge is selected to the outer edge of the IDC to cut the waste cable and not the incoming cable. Maintain the pair twists right up to the terminal block. It is preferable to add half a twist rather than remove half a twist when aligning the pairs with the termination blocks. And finally, the white-brown pair. If the insertion blade has not completely severed the wires, then cut these adjacent to the termination block with a pair of fine wire cutters. Repeat this procedure for each cable to be terminated, ensuring that all wire offcuts are removed from the patch panel. To help keep the cable in place, you can now refit a grounding clamp. Using a tie wrap, loosely attach the cable to the management bar and trim the excess. Repeat the process. Here is the completed patch panel. Fit the patch panel into the cabinet and dress the cable bundles accordingly. Fit the earth bonding conductor between the common earth point within the cabinet and the patch panel earthing point. Relabel the cables accordingly. Computer-generated labels are preferred.